I'm from Dallas. Um, I was spending a little bit of time in Mexico visiting family. Um, it's kind of funny because right now I'm, I'm a teacher, but I'm also fighting, so, you know, it's always a cool story to tell my students. Oh, my God. My goodness. Cameron just hit him with a heck of a, of a, heck of a shot. Go for the triangle, and then the next pitch is to put him to sleep. I cannot believe you take the back for the rear naked choke. Joel is fighting out of it, but that's the thing. He is. He does not want to lose again. He is fighting. That's it. That's it. He's over. Tap it out. He's tap over. It out. It's over. He's out. Jose Soto Jr. doing what he wants at will. I'm gonna go ahead and pick him up and slam him. Watch for the choke. Boom! Oh. And it's a side sidewalk slam. So is Soto, but I think I think Jose. Oh! oh. That's it. Oh. That's a, oh. My goodness, that is completely legal. The iconic Jose Soto Jr. Yeah, Jose just gets better and better. Ladies and gentlemen, this one is brought to you by Next Bank. We are set for three rounds in the XKO Flyweight Muay Thai Division. Fight fans, this is your main event of the evening. Here in Dallas, Texas, at the one and only venue, the Gas Monkey Live. Introducing first, Fighting out of the next bank, blue corner, trained in Muay Thai, standing five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in 129 and three quarter pounds, undefeated with four victories and zero defeats, representing Arlington Muay Thai and the powerhouse training facility, fighting out of Arlington, Texas, Jose Soto Jr. Across the cage, his opponent, fighting out of the Jim Ross red corner. Trained in boxing and wrestling, standing 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in 131 pounds. Representing Campuzano Martial Arts, fighting out of Dallas, Texas, Cameron Miller. You referee, Steve Armstrong. Okay, gentlemen, you received your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. All right, Jose Soto. Green, black, silver. Cameron Miller, the black and red. Jose Soto undefeated as a professional Muay Thai fighter. Cameron Miller. Very good MMA fighter. Making his step in here. Jose Soto is in the best shape I've ever seen him. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, main event of the evening. Antonio Perkins joining with Scott Groff here at XKO 43 in Dallas, Texas at the Gas Monkey Live. Jose Soto Jr. undefeated 4-0, taking on Cameron Miller. Four victories, two defeats. Representing Arlington Muay Thai and the powerhouse training facility, Jose Soto Jr. Campuzano Martial Arts, Cameron Miller. Well, and, and Antonio, one of the things that I was, what I was just pointing out, this is the 
best shape I've ever seen Jose Soto in. And he always comes in good shape. Always. He looks 10 pounds heavier than Cameron Miller right now. You know, this is actually the first time that I've seen, I believe, Cameron Miller fight Muay Thai here That's at right. XKO. That's right. He is, he is, he's, he's uh, I believe, 4-2 and two in MMA. Soto, of course. Oh, that's a big kick, and that hurts Soto. Cameron Miller just hit Soto in the uh, right in the liver. And it wasn't quite flush, but it was enough to get his attention. Exactly. And, you know, the thing is about Cameron Miller, he likes to push the pace. He's a very fun, very technical, very confident fighter. And he's also a middle school teacher in math. And, of course, he loves spending time with his family. But Which is crazy because you think that Cameron was still middle school. He looks that young. I mean, he, he, he he's just a youthful-looking man. Talk about a youthful, youthful-looking man. Look at Jose Soto Jr. Ripped up, shredded, oh, he, ready to he, fight, he undefeated. Is, he is shredded and muscular and just, I mean, phenomenal shape. No, I tell you, I like, and I really personally like both of these fighters. You know what I mean? I mean oh yeah, they're yeah, yeah. Great guys, and to see them fight against each other, you know, who do you go for? Who are you pulling for? Of course, uh, both. But yeah. you don't want to draw. <laughs> I don't think I <laughs> don't think we'll see that tonight. No, not at all. But you know. Cameron Miller is definitely, Soto has gained Soto's respect immediately with that kick and things of that nature because normally Jose, ooh, beautiful kick, just missed it. Wow, oh, Cameron, little slave sweep. And, wow, you know, and I tell you, that's the first time I've ever seen Soto drop from a sweep in his four pro Muay Thai fights. Just shows kind of how Cameron Miller's just very slick. Very, very poised. Very poised. I was say very poised, very calm. Crowd just heard some uh, heckling from the uh, from the from other fans here. Well, and of course, you know the fans. You know, main event. They want to see two guys come out here and just beat the beat the living dog out of each other. And you know, I'm sure one guy would like to do that to the other. But at the moment, both guys. You know, looks like both guys are really trying to figure out the other one. So nice high kick right there by Jose Soto. And I'll tell you, man, Jose, Jose Soto, wow, Cameron is just on the attack. Well, and that's the thing. Cameron Miller, I mean, he explodes out of nowhere. And I'm going to tell you, if, you know, with 10 seconds left, if it sticks like this, this is this is, this is is absolutely Cameron Miller's yeah. round. It's his point and then explodes. And when he explodes, it's crazy. You know, I love the confidence in both these guys right here, both these fighters. Jose Soto Jr. taking on Cameron Miller, main event XKO 43, here at the Gas Monkey Live in Dallas, Texas. And see, with that two minutes rest, Jose has been able to recover from that liver kick. And so now he's back at that movement and that pace that you know, we normally see him with. No, I think that you tried to give Jose Soto the nickname The Ghost because he's there and he's gone. Yeah. Nice. Did you see that angled right kick yeah, from Jose? Yeah, and he went, what, what he showed an instep kick and then immediately turned it into a roundhouse kick. Kind of a variation of the low high round kick. And yeah. Cameron Miller, let me tell you, Cameron Miller, if I'm his coach, I'm telling him, I'm saying, take take Jose Soto and hit that red spot that you hit. I love the fact that Cameron Miller is training with Campuzano. If you've ever feel, uh, just followed Will Campuzano's career, just an amazing, phenomenal athlete. You're going to see remnants of him in this cage through Cameron Miller. Yeah, and Will Campuzano had, did have a, had a fantastic career oh, at the highest level in yes. MMA. Yes, And uh, nice to see him passing that on to this younger generation. And he, oh, oh, there's that. There it is again. And he's hurt. And he is. And I, and I oh, tell you, hurt. And I, and, I think, and I think he hit him in the same spot. Which is exactly what I would have told him to look. He's and Jose knows it. Jose's he's dropping that right, that right elbow. Yep. Right elbow is now very far down. But and, you say that, we say that Jose is hurt, but he is still very much dangerous. No, no, and hurt. And I'm going hurt by by his, but by, by what we would say with Jose, because it's it slows him down. But that is twice. Oh, there he goes, flying elbow right there on the top of the head. Yeah. And I've seen Cameron get dazed and phased, but I'll tell you right now, this is a different Cameron Miller right here that we're watching. Yeah, and, and he's just, and Cameron's just picking his picking his point. He's like, all right, I'm just going to find my spot, and I'm going to work it. And again, he he's, you know. You're watching right now the coach, the coach, the mentor, the trainer, Jose Soto Jr. right here going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Cameron Miller. Cameron Miller, it's almost like he's ready to launch. He's just... Holding back, re-energizing, yeah, ready to launch. That's right, and, and you saw that just a second ago. He waited to counter, and when he did, it was furious. 
30 seconds into round number two. One and, more round to go. And you know what's interesting? We're not seeing any leg kicks. Oh! oh Cameron Miller. Jose, now Jose he's hurt. Jose Soto got rocked. Now he's hurt. Jose surviving. Great job by Jose pulling Cameron Miller. Holy mackerel. That was a flush, wow. flush hook. And I'll tell you, and Jose had that flash, but he didn't go down. He stayed in the fray, and he was smart. Pull your opponent in, buy yourself some time to recover. Yeah, 10 seconds left, and I mean, Cameron Miller. <laughs> wow, and that's all, mean, that's all Jose needed was a couple of seconds to recover. Well, uh, let me, he needs, he's not he's not, he's not charging in. He needs a little more than that. Wow. Boy, I tell Cameron you what. has to feel Cameron, very confident coming I, out of that I, I, I'm telling you, that's two rounds of none in my opinion. And that last round was even more comp was more than the first i mean he caught jose flush he really did but cameron, Mi cameron miller middle school teacher poker face taking on the number one in xko in this division. a guy who's walked for everybody cameron miller is picking his spots and is an ex and is exploding is exploding. And so now as we get our face time in, right. your bow tie and everything is not getting any face time. <laughs> we have one more round to go. Um, I'm telling you, Jose Soto Jr. took a shot in the first round, yes. mid session. He's recovered, but this last round, Cameron Miller hats off to him. He's uh Yeah, he he about he about dropped it. Now he got another kick in there in that second round. Yeah. You see the bruising on Jose now? Yeah, if you look at the midsection of Jose. Right Soto. around the liver, it's 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 highly bruised. Red and now bruised. And Cameron Miller. Cameron Miller, all he has to do is really survive now, this round. This is a part that is scary. Because <laughs> when you've pissed off Jose Soto Jr., but bad things happen. Well, you, you pissed him off, but you know, is he desperate? And I think that's what we got to know. Is he desperate? Cameron Miller, call, this is the calmest I've ever seen Cameron Miller. It, it's, it's scary. It's scary. It's, not, it's scary. And he's given up so much size to Jose. I'm not sure what the issue is here. Uh, is it the timekeeper or what? what, what what's going on here? Uh, it might be the timekeeper. Both guys ready to go. Uh, A little bit more extra time. A little bit more extra time for him. Here All right, go. here we go. Third. Steve Armstrong bring them in together. Third and final round. Here we go. Touch of the gloves. Cameron Miller in the black trunks. Jose Soto Jr. in the uh, black and green. Here we go. Last final round in the main event for XKO 43. And I guess what we're looking at now, Antonio, is just waiting on Cameron Miller to explode. Pick his time and explode. Because right now, he is, uh, man, he is, he, he surprised everybody. I mean, I think nobody's as surprised as Jose Soto. And right there, he went for now, that kick. He went to the body, tried to go to the body again. Jose was very, very scared. I wouldn't say scared, but he, he didn't want to do it. He didn't want to get hit by it. What, I, what I'm curious about now is, okay, there we go. That's what, I was curious why, why Cameron engaged when he could have just disengaged. Oh, look at that. H Jose was going to go for one of his jumping uh, techniques. He went for it again. And Cameron, and what did Cameron do? Cameron immediately kicks him in the midsection to keep him from doing it. Jose, Jose is working. awake now. Jose yeah. has woken up. Well, he it's not so much that he's awake. He know, I think he knows he's down. And he knows he's got to do something. He's got to make it a 10-8 round to force the draw. He's got to knock out Cameron Miller. And, and I don't know that the knockout is necessarily going to come the way that Cameron Miller has fought tonight. But he has been explosive. He's been extremely intense. Well, right now, Jose Soto right now is keeping... Keep in close quarters right now. I would say disengage if you can. And, you know, there's lots of flashes of abilities that Jose Soto can do. Yeah, without a doubt. But but Cameron is doing a great job of just blocking the this. Storm. Yeah. I mean, big time. One minute, 15 and, seconds and, into the and end and of the night here. And in pauses like this, you know, does the referee need to break this up? I mean... I mean, it is a Muay Thai fight. Yeah. I mean, you got to break that up. Yeah. I mean, you got to. It, it, it kind of went on too long. I am. Yeah. Cameron Miller, I say, just waiting for him to explode. 46 seconds into the end of the night here for XKO 43. Oh, a desperate attempt there. 
we, we know what he was trying to do. Just a slip. Just yeah, a slip. Going for a flying knee. Right. And one thing that with what I worry about with Jose going in for that elbow is a head-to-head contact, a headbutt. Yeah. And cutting and cutting across. I worry about that. Yeah, and then you know, and that happens. And right there, again, there's there's Cameron Miller just kind of coming back. And you see Cameron now you, you kind of Cameron's like, okay, I think I've got those first two rounds, so I'm gonna smother you to death these this last last bit. Oh, nice exchange. Yeah, big time, big time. Let's go to a judge's scorecard. Mutual respect, that's why I love yeah. the sport. Great fight, man. You just try to knock each other's head off, and there's that mutual respect. You gotta love that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for tonight's main event of the evening. At this time, we go to the judges' scorecard after three rounds of fighting action. Javier Martinez scores about 29-28 for Cameron Miller. Marconi Nascimento scores about 29-28 for Jose Soto Jr. And Bergy Stillwagner scores about 29-28, declaring your winner by split decision, Cameron Miller! All right, here with your winner, Cameron Miller. You know, we Antonio are talking about Jose has he hasn't just won in this division. Yeah, I know, I know you have. I mean, he's mowed through everybody. I got to tell you, man, that let, let's be honest. The first, the first round, that was a that was a liver kick. That was a liver kick from hell, right off the bat in the first round that hurt him and slowed him down real bad. The second round. Uh, yeah, again, you hit him with that shot, and then you almost knocked him out. Third round, yeah, you were a little bit tired. But man, you picked your time, you exploded, you coming from an MMA background where you're very good at. Um, we know you're a good boxer, but what, what, what's your thoughts in the future? You get a little, uh, little Muay Thai more in the, in the uh, future for you? I mean, I'm just trying to stay active. If I can get some more Muay Thai fights, that'd be cool. Um, but I'm getting back into MMA, though, so that's where I'm going to be going. Hopefully get some boxing fights also, so whatever is out there, I'll take. Okay. Cameron, how old are you? I'm, 20, I'm 25 now, yeah. 25 and you teach middle school, is that correct? Yes, sir, that's correct. And like I like to say, you look like you're still in middle school. I mean, you're a young-looking guy, 25 years old. But that's one of the most impressive wins I've seen in a very, very long time. Um, so I don't want to have you back. You said you felt a little bit tired. Did, did, he ever, did he ever have you bothered at all? No, I wasn't hurt. I, just, I had the flu for the last two weeks, so that made the weight cut really hard. Um, but, you know, I sucked it up, and I'm here. So thank you guys for coming out. I really do appreciate it. Will and Campuzano, thank you so much for supporting me and my family. I love you. Thank you all for being out here. I um, also want to thank the Lord for giving me this opportunity and everybody at Houston Middle School. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for coming out tonight. One more time, main event, your winner, Cameron Miller.